So if you listened till the very end of that last video, you heard me saying something about doubling time, half-life time, you probably were going, what? Here we are, doubling time. There's a formula. We talked about doubling time earlier when we were talking about money. Um, how long does it take your money to double? How long does it take the money to double? So, um, and I said that too. Remember that too was really important. Doubling time is, is a T, right? So that doubling time T is equal to the natural log of two divided by your growth constant because you're doubling, okay? So the natural log of two divided by your growth constant, that's your doubling time. So I'm just gonna take this here and I'm gonna move it right there. That's what it's equal to. And your half-life time, you can take a guess. You can take a guess, we'll see if it's right. Half-life time, again, half-life means time, put that in parentheses, is equal to the natural log of what? What do you think? If you're saying one half, you are absolutely correct. The natural log of one half divided by K. Now, when you double, you have growth. So this would be your growth constant. When you have a half-life, that means you are losing. You're probably thinking, how do I lose? How do I lose something that I have? How does it just decay? Well, it does, it decays. Um, we could have a, a colony of scorpions and then you call pest control and you have them killed off somehow, that would be a decay. Bacteria decays. It doesn't always grow. You can, you can decay your bacteria by treating it um, with, with some kind of a substance that's going to kill it. In the medical field, we talk about half-life a lot. So that's the first problem that we're gonna actually talk about right here hospitals. They utilize a radioactive, I'm not quite sure what happened there. They utilize a radioactive substance called iodine-131. It's in the diagnosis of the thyroid gland, but they use it in other types of medical situations as well. Um, it, it helps them detect certain things. So they, they use this iodine-131. However, when they purchase this iodine, it only has a shelf life. I'm gonna say a shelf life. It only has a shelf life of, of about eight days until half of it is gone. It, because it's a radioactive substance, it doesn't just sit and stay forever. It's not like uh, you know a cup of sugar. If I have a cup of sugar today in a year from now, it's still a cup of sugar unless I ate it, but that's not decaying. But if I just let it sit there, the cup of sugar is still gonna be there. So radioactive substances don't have that same effect they just by sitting they lose their mass so half-life of iodine 131 is eight days determine the decay constant k for iodine 131 so what they're telling us here is the time that it takes for it to cut in half is eight days so the time is equal to eight we're gonna use our half-life formula. Half-life, right, half-life, which is time, life is time, is equal to the natural log of one-half divided by K. Well, we don't know what K is. We need to determine what that K is. The only other unknown is our time. So what is our time? Time is equal to the natural log of one half divided by K. Time in this case is eight days. Time equals eight days. And dictated by the problem, we're gonna be talking about days. So eight is equal to the natural log of one half divided by K. I'm gonna multiply both sides by K. I'm going to divide both sides by eight. So K is equal to the natural log of one half divided by eight. I'm going to be storing my values. I'm gonna definitely store my values, but on paper, the natural log 
of 1 half, take that divided by 8, and I get a negative value because it's a decay constant, which we already talked about, 0, negative 0 0.0866. This is on paper, on paper. However, you want to store in the calculator. So we're going to hit the arrow key and then K. So arrow key and it'll say answer, arrow, and then we hit alpha K and we've got it stored. I'm going to box my answer. That is the paper answer that I have to write down. That's the decay constant. If a hospital acquires two grams of iodine-131, how much will remain after 20 days? Well, I know after eight days, one gram remains. So let's just make a table here. We've got two grams to start with. So two grams to start with, okay? We've got days and we've got amount. So zero days, I start with two grams. Eight days later, I have one gram. Eight days after that would be 16 days after the initial quantity, I would have a half a gram. 24 days, so that would be another eight days after the 16, I would have 0 0.25. So we're going to be 20 days somewhere between 0 0.5 and 0 0.25. How much will we actually have? Well, we're gonna look. Our initial quantity that's n naught. How much do we have at the end? That's n, and that's our question mark. 20 days, time equals 20. And we also know that k is approximately negative 0 0.0866. So we're gonna plug all this into our calculator. n equals, 2 times e raised to the k times 20 power. And I'm using the stored value of k. So I go over to my calculator. I'm going to show you. It's fun to show you on the calculator. I think this is pretty nifty. 2 shift natural log brings my e. And then I have alpha k times... What did I need to multiply that by? What did I need to multiply that by? 20 days. Hopefully I put 20 on that paper. I'm gonna go back to my note shelf and make sure I put 20. 0 0.354 grams. 0 0.354 grams. Let's go back there. 0 0.354. We're gonna see if our answer makes sense. 0 0.354 grams remain after 20 days, after 20 days. Okay, I'm boxing it before I see if my answer makes sense, but it, I'm looking over here, 20 days, 0 0.354 is between 0.5 and 0.25. Not bad. How long will it be until 0 0.01 gram remains? Hmm, so now they're telling us what N is. And now they're asking how long. So now this time, time is unknown. So what remains the same? Well, we know that our end value is 0 0.01, and we know that we started with 2 times e raised to the k as a constant. It's in my calculator as k, so I'm going to use k down here on paper. And then t is unknown. t is unknown. I used a whole bunch of blue, and I should have been using gray. So I'm just going to color this. Oh, let's see. Let's color this gray. Much better. There we go. Divide both sides by 2. So I've got 0 0.01 divided by 2 is equal to E raised to the kt power. Remember, t is what we're looking for. I'm going to have the natural log, log base e. So 
So the natural log of 0 0.01 divided by 2 is equal to k times t. To solve for t, we're going to divide both sides by k. I'm going to put this into my calculator using the stored values k. If you're still struggling with the stored value, I encourage you to reach out to me um, so I can help you with that. You're probably at this point just using the on paper number, which is which is fine for now, but we'll want to reach out and do that so that so that you're not struggling to get the final answers on my answer keys. So I've got the natural log of 0 0.01 over 2, and I'm going to divide that number by alpha k. 61.151. Now, what were we solving for time? We were solving for time. Time is equal to, or approximately, I've got more room over here, 61.151 days. Now, if you did not use the stored value and you were using negative 0.0866 for K, you would have gotten 61.181 days. I got 61.151 days close, very close. Those two numbers are very close, so we're good. Um, but this is the exact value, 61.151 days. So that, that's how we use this in, in hospitals. That's growth and decay. And it's so important that you know what you're doing. You understand this half-life because someone has to buy this stuff. So there has to be enough in the hospital to utilize when you need it but you don't want too much because what happens in eight days half of it is gone so even people who are not in the medical field they're just business people they're purchasing these items for the hospital so that the hospitals don't go bankrupt they have to make sure that they're ordering the right amount that's going to get utilized in a decent amount of time so that they're not losing it literally losing the substance because of its decay